26th graduation ceremony at Argus High School. The class of 2022 has fulfilled many dreams and expectations, and now, as we prepare to go forth onto our next journey in life, we will carry with us many dreams for our futures. We thank our parents, our brothers and sisters, our relatives and friends for being here with us to celebrate this great occasion in our lives. Now we ask that you sit back and enjoy this afternoon with us. We, the class of 2022, will remember the day with great pride for the rest of our lives. Would everyone please stand, gentlemen, please remove your hats and join me in the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would everyone please continue standing for the national anthem? I remember being in elementary school at lunch. There would be a small handful of us finishing up as the high schoolers would begin coming into the cafeteria. We would hurry up to finish so we weren't stuck in there with the big intimidating kids. And now we are those big intimidating high schoolers that the little kids watched in the halls. It feels like our elementary days were just a couple of years ago rather than eight to nine years ago. We have all grown up together. We've created a family a bond within this entire class. 90% of us have been with each other since day one, and even those who may have come in later years quickly became a part of this family. Throughout the years, we have created and gathered countless memories and stories to always look back on, like how third grade was the year that for some reason, Kurt would eat worms without a second thought, or fourth grade when we were learning about prepositions and Mrs. Belden had broken the recycling bin when explaining out of the box. In fifth and sixth grade, the boys had gotten almost every sport banned at recess. And in sixth grade, we became what was probably the worst class Mrs. Cox and Mrs. Overmeyer had ever had to deal with at the time. The amount of times our homerooms were gathered into one class just to be yelled at did not set a good stage for us going into junior high. In our sophomore year, the soccer boys helped and were some of the main drivers of earning a state title and took us right back to state our junior year. It was like being proud of our siblings for accomplishing a goal they've had forever. Then, of course, COVID hit, and although we may not have gotten the worst end of it, it still took its toll on us. Taking your first AP exam as a sophomore online in quarantine definitely was not ideal. Junior year, we definitely had some ups and downs with teachers, but that's just having multiple teachers for one class. So shout out to Mr. Firefighter, PhD, Pilot Rubinsky, and a big thanks to Cohagen for getting us through the rest of AP Lang. Our class is grateful for the teachers who have helped us get here today. Through the laughs and all the trouble we've put them through for years, we've been grateful to form the relationships that we have with all of them. 
Coming from a school as small as this, I believe we will all cherish the personal relationships we've been able to form with these teachers since we all first started at Argus. And now, here we are, sitting in our caps and gowns, wondering how time has gone so fast, but so thankful to be done. I titled my speech for today, One Step Forward, Zero Steps Back, because now we all will take our own individual steps forward into our own lives, our own specific journeys. It's crazy to think of all the steps we had to take to get to this point, all the laughs and the tears, the tests and the review packets, so many things that went by so quickly looking back on it now. We've created countless friendships and bonds between each other and as a class with our teachers. We can't take any steps back. We can't time travel back to when we were little or go back to change the classes we took, no matter how badly we may wish we could. And even though we cannot take those steps back, we have the memories and the stories. We have our entire, our entire childhood behind us here in this school. Take that with you. Don't forget those memories. Because although we're all getting ready to start our own lives, you don't want to completely forget how you got there and who you got there with. As our senior, senior song states, I'm so thankful for the moments. So glad I got to know you. Congratulations, class of 2022. I am so proud of everyone here and wish you the best of luck in all that you will do next. Your class president, Samantha Rose.
Good afternoon. I am Nick Medich, principal of Argus Junior Senior High School, and I welcome you to the class of 2022 Argus High School graduation ceremony. At this time, please take notice of the special insert in your program. Those members of the class of 2022 who received special honors at the awards program are listed. I would like to introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2022, Kara Marie Sabansky, daughter of Mike and Terry Sabansky, has earned the distinction of being named the salutatorian of Argus Junior Senior High's class of 2022. Kara has been active in her church youth group, captain of the softball and cheerleading teams, was in band, choir, show choir, and musicals all four years, FFA, Leo's, Sunshine, NHS, FCA, President of Student Council, President of BPA her junior year, and Region 2 President for the, for the state of Indiana her senior year. Kara will be attending Butler University to major in biology and has been accepted into the honors program. Kara is ending her high school career with a 4.375 GPA. Kara has earned an academic honors diploma and received the following scholarships. Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship and a Dollars for Scholar Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, the salutatorian of the class of 2022, Kara Marie Sabansky. Many of you are probably sitting here today wondering what's next. What happens after we leave our graduation today and walk out the doors of the school we grew up in one last time? For many of us, walking out of those doors means going off to college in August. For others, it means going straight into the workforce, trade school, or a military branch. For all of us, though, graduation means leaving life as we have known it for the past 13 years behind to start a new chapter in our lives. In life, we have had many firsts that have brought us to where we are today. We have experienced our first steps, our first birthday, our first day of school in this very building, and our first school dance. Unfortunately, with all of those firsts comes a series of lasts as well. Just in the last year, we have experienced our last birthday at home, the last game of the sport we've grown up playing, our last school concerts, our last days of high school, and our last time hugging our friends goodbye before we all go off to start new chapters in our lives. These moments may leave us wondering why we didn't have more time, why it went by so fast, and why we have to say goodbye. But I assure you, these events are only preparing us for the things to come. Sometimes the things that we are hanging on to in our lives have to end in order for us to start a new timeline. That is the purpose that our graduation is serving today. Although we are saying goodbye, we are being given the opportunity to create a new timeline that has just as many firsts and lasts as the life we lived while in high school. This new start may not be easy for some of us. In fact, it may come with a lot of heartache and goodbyes. But when that heartache comes around, just remember that there will be more good times to come. A goodbye doesn't mean forever. We're all too young to fully understand how long forever truly is. It could be two weeks, four months, six years, who knows. At the end of the day, we have to accept saying goodbye in hopes we will see each other again someday in the next chapter of our lives. With that, I would like to thank each and every one of you for making my time at Argus a time to remember. Even after I say goodbye to you all today, I will hold on to the memories and opportunities this school has given me. I would also like to thank every single teacher, staff member, and coach who has believed in me and has had an impact on my life. You make saying goodbye and moving on even more difficult. Most importantly, I would like to thank my parents for being my biggest supporters and always having my back through everything. I wouldn't be where I am today without their constant love and support. Some of us may wish to stay in this phase of life forever, but we have to accept the fact that it's time to move on. It is what we have worked so hard towards, and it is what our teachers and parents have prepared us for over the last 18 years. We are now ready to move forward and go change the world. Each and every one of you is capable of living the life you have always dreamed of. So go off and live all of your first and lasts, build your timeline, and create a life worth living. However, never forget where you came from and who helped you get to where you are today. Thank you.
It is my honor to introduce to you the valedictorian for the class of 2022, Elizabeth Edmonds. Elizabeth Grace Edmonds, daughter of Kip and Sarah, has earned the distinction of being named the valedictorian of Argus Junior Senior High's class of 2022. Over the past four years, Lizzie has been active in soccer, basketball, travel basketball, Sunshine Society, NHS, FCA, Student Council, Youth Group, Musical, 4-H Forestry Judging, and was assistant coach for the elementary forestry judging team as well. Lizzie will be attending and playing basketball at Holy Cross College in Notre Dame, Indiana in the fall and is currently undecided on her major. Lizzie is ending her high school career with a 4.429 GPA. Lizzie is a four-year letter winner in both soccer and basketball, also giving her the eight varsity letter title. Lizzie earned an academic honors diploma and received the following scholarships. Eugene and Janice Cooper Scholarship, Max and Lois Edmonds Scholarship, and Dollars for Scholars Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Elizabeth Edmonds. Hello, everyone. I would like to, like to start by thanking you all for being here today. This is just one more example of the community support I have felt all throughout high school as both a student and an athlete. From getting congratulated by people I may not even know who have seen my name in the newspaper for high honor roll, to seeing the same faces always in the stands at athletic events cheering us on, some of those faces that have been doing so ever since my dad played. I have always felt the community behind me in everything I've done, and I am so grateful for that. I feel so blessed to be from Argus. There is truly no place like this town and school, and no better place to have gone through this journey of growing up and figuring out who we are. This gym specifically is where a lot of this happened for me. I went from being bored at my older brother's games and drawing on the back of popcorn boxes to starting to pay attention and dreaming of the day it would be me out there. Eventually, it was. And now in this same gym, I get to walk across the stage and receive my diploma. While our journeys are far from over, I know that none of us will forget where we came from. We all know what a special place Argus is. Especially being K through 12 in one building, Argus is a place that facilitates lifelong relationships. One day as I was filling out college applications, it dawned on me that I've quite literally had the very same friend since kindergarten. I really haven't had to make a new friend since I was six years old, and I'm expected to go off to a new place without any of these people. How do I even make friends? I'm sure I'll figure it out along the way, but that just goes to show what a huge part of my life this school and my classmates have been. Along with that, the personal relationships that we've been able to form with staff and teachers are also so unique to Argus and have contributed to our academic success and the people we are today. As unique of a place as Argus is, I feel that the class of 2022 is particularly special, and I can't pass up this opportunity to brag on my class a bit. In every way possible, we have striven for greatness ever since our freshman year. Athletically, teams we have been on have been some of the best in school history, and our class was a huge part of the success. Many of you know this. However, what a lot of people may not know is how much we have pushed ourselves and each other in the classroom. The top seven, eight, maybe even 10 of us could have been valedictorian or salutatorian in a different class. Of course, our teachers and their commitment deserve some credit for this, as I mentioned before, but Proverbs 27:17 says that iron sharpens iron. I truly believe that my classmates and I are products of this. We held ourselves and each other to a higher standard. Not only has that paid off today, but this mindset will continue to benefit us throughout our lives. Look out for great things to come from the class of 2022. To wrap this up, I just can't emphasize enough how thankful I am to have come from this class and this town. To the community, thank you for the support and for helping shape who we are as people, whether you realize it or not. To my classmates, thank you for years of memories. I love you all, full send.
at this time, I would like to introduce the school leadership presenting diplomas to, to, to today's graduates. School Board President, Mrs. Angie Smith. Secretary, Mrs. Jennifer Herford. Member, Mrs. Patricia Rensberger. Mr. Ned Spiker, Superintendent of Argus Community Schools. And Mrs. Beth Schmeltz, Argus Junior Senior High, High School Guidance Counselor. The Argus High School faculty and I are very proud of the achievements of the class of 2022. Mr. Spiker, as principal of Argus Junior Senior High School, I certify that the members of the class of 2022 have met the graduation course completion requirements estab established by the state of Indiana in Argus Junior Senior High School. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Ned Spiker, superintendent of Argus Community Schools. Class of 2022, I just want to congratulate you on your many outstanding achievements. Um, what an excellent time you've had at high school and the many accomplishments that you have. And before we go on with the presentation to diplomas, I just want to challenge you on eight short points in just a minute here. Number one, you deserve to be respected and loved. Learn to act like you are respected and loved. Show others and shower others with respect and love. Number two, challenges will only make you stronger. Give yourself time to figure out a problem. Use tools that you've learned growing up from past experiences to resolve the problem. This will make you stronger as you face life. Number three, you are what you think of yourself. Don't dwell on the negative. Life can shower us with negative thoughts. Don't dwell on it. Don't think, I'm lazy, I'm stupid, I can't accomplish that. Set goals and achieve them. You can. Number four, we are all human. We all make mistakes. Bad days and bad times will happen. You know what? Forgive yourself and start again. Number five, be friendly and forgive others. Help others through mistakes and failures. Give emotional support to others and be considerate. Number six, hard work pays. You're an example of it today. Life is more than just having fun. Look towards long-term goals, not just the moment we're living in. Number seven, never stop learning. Be a life learner and pursue learning with a child's interest. Remember that child's interest in kindergarten and first grade? Pursue learning. And number eight, be grateful to others. Show kindness to others. Be part of solutions. Don't be the person setting up roadblocks. And I'll conclude with challenging you on, as Mother Teresa said, we can do no great things. Only small things with great love. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Mrs. Besh Schmelz, our guidance counselor, turn it over to you. Thank you. After the recessional, the graduates will be outside to receive their congratulations. Those in the audience, please remain seated. The ushers will dismiss those in the reserve sections first. After that, the remainder of the audience may leave the gym to greet the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin the main portion of our graduation service today. Now will the seniors in row one please stand and move into place to receive your diploma. Samantha Christie Rose. Elizabeth Grace Edmonds.
Kara Marie Sabansky. Hannah Elizabeth Trump. Anna Jasmine Anderson. Bryce Jeffrey Beerwart. Vladimir Bernard. Jaden Brian Baldazar. Sophia K. Bolenbacher. Caden Donald Brady. Cole Jarrett Burkholder. Bryce Allen Campbell. Corbin James Clements. Mackenzie Alexis Cox. Noah Joseph Demock. Chaz Robert Downey. Carly Goleva Ellis. Kaylee M. Elmore. Juan Espinoza Morate. Andrew Fajardo. Erilyn Misty Fair. Samantha Elizabeth Ferguson. Douglas Michael Fishburn. DJ Force. Cameron Michael Force Fields. Mariela Sarai Garcia Diaz. Anisha Rayanne Himes. Hannah Grace Herford. Kurt Ryan Johnson. Snowin Wayne Keim. Dylan Christopher Kindig. Nicholas Connor Krivak. McKenna Brielle Lineberry. Aiden Isaac Mangus. Austin Byron Michael Ussel. Ivan Mezenzanica. Carly Elizabeth Miller. Brianne Claire Moyer. Avery Marie Ness.
Lillian Grace Petz. Leah Frombeck. Caleb James Matthew Racozzi. Emilio Bentley Rangel. Theodore Ward Redinger. Michael Joseph Richard. Alexia Lee Rodriguez. Jaime Rubio. Jared Lee Sander. Nadtanan Sang Chaitawi. Taylor Elizabeth Shirk. Kelly Leanne Snavely. Tyler J. Snyder. Jacob William Stoltz. Layla Cheyenne Sullivan. Wyatt Allen Tanner. Connor Owen Lewis Tracy. Valeria Valiente Lopez. Logan Michael Weiser. Allison Lynn Zom. the moment you've been waiting for. At this time, I'll ask the class of 2022 to please stand. As superintendent of Argus Community Schools and by the authority granted by the Argus Board of School Trustees and the state of Indiana, I now declare you to be graduates of Argus Junior Senior High School. Congratulations. 